Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go to the boss of World 6. 6-6, six, six, actually. <laughs> this is really music. I'm gonna keep my spark because it is freaking broken. And doors right here. Is there anything? Okay, I just wanted to check if there was anything up there. Get your spark charged up! Oh, knocked my spark right out, dang it. This is the Metal General. He is a pretty awesome boss, I have to say. And when you hit him, he actually shows how much damage you do above his head there. It's like a computer virus back in uh, Superstar. Ow! <laughs> He's a pretty cool boss in every single way, I have to say. Uh, after, when he gets down to half health, he starts doing some really crazy cool attacks. Like this giant missile one that you're going to see soon enough. Uh, it leaves fire on the ground in its wake as well. This is the one I'm talking about here. Let's see if I can destroy this missile. Oh, yeah! Spark is broken as heck. He also reminds me a lot of uh, Galacta Knight as well from some of his attacks. And you know what? I'm going to let him do his uh, rocket attack just once. Just so I can show off what it's like. Because I clearly can completely break that uh, attack, if I attack it fast enough with the spark power up. This thing breaks everything! Oh, he's also got some mines here. Which, yeah, I'm gonna let him fly into the background just to show you how it works. Because I am owning him with this power. And now he's gonna try flying towards me like a Sphere Doomer or Grand Doomer. <clears throat> and he's gonna do it multiple times sometimes, but that, that case he just did it once. And look out for the fire, and that's pretty much all of his attacks. Pretty awesome boss. Not too hard, but still pretty awesome. Woo! Hmm, if I would have known that this boss would have went that quickly with the spark power up, I think I would have attached this to the last part. Ah, oh, well. Well, I could. Nah, I won't edit it in. I'll just. Because I, I like to keep parts ended off with. Uh, Thanks for watching and uh, have a good one or something like that, as well as a toodaloo. <laughs> so it seemed like out of place to just like slap another level onto, you know, a part that I already thought I was ending off properly. Anyway, let's go to the next world, which is, as you may have guessed by the background, the Mandatory Lava World. Titled, Dangerous Dinner. <laughs> Yes, that's right, Dangerous Dinner. That is like the most intimidating name you could think of. <laughs> Stage 1, let's get it going. There's only three stages in this uh, lava world here. Uh, strangely, I, I don't know why, maybe it's like they didn't want to, you know, like overdo, I should say, uh, reuse ideas too many times. It's like they only used what they had and left it as is. All these, all three of these stages are great. But I mean, I'm just surprised that there's only three stages in this world, you know, as opposed to normal. Wah! <laughs> Man, as long as I have the spark power, nothing can touch me. <laughs> it really is truly broken. I mean, seriously. <laughs> there's just nothing that can match this thing. Nothing! It's even part of a complete breakfast. Uh, anyway, let's just keep moving on. There's nothing really to worry about as long as I've got my spark power up. You know, it's funny. Uh, this version even gives you a shield a little bit faster than the one in Superstar. Because you see, it gives you that greenish shield before it gives you the larger, bluer shield as you're charging it up. So it's like... Whoosh, and you've already got yourself protected from anything within a second. Well, I should say most anything. Oh, boy! <laughs> Like that, that rock, yeah, you, that's not going to protect you very much. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to protect you from that. Anyway, you got to get ahead of it and press that switch before the rock gets to you, otherwise you'll take a hit. I don't know if it kills you instantly, though. I never tried that before. Um, do I need any specific power coming up? I really hope I don't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure for one of these stages I need a water power-up. Run, 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 run. Don't stop running, don't stop running. Grab the key, don't stop running! Oh god, don't hit the guy! 
And we got the door right up there. Okay, it's not protected by anything. I was expecting like, some sort of Gordo, not Gordo, um, Scarfy ambush. Anyway, that was the first one. We're moving on to the next area. We're moving up to the east side and getting a one up along the way. Hmm, I believe there's gonna be some more of those. Oh, this! I hate this boss. Not not because you know what? I've, I've defeated this boss before. You've seen me defeat him before. But the thing is, is that this cannon is just so obtrusive. It's just such good cannon placement. And it aims for you. It, it, go, it only aims in five directions, but it literally aims in the direction that you're at. So it's never, ever <laughs> something that you, you should take lightly. But that actually worked out pretty well for me. Anyway, got water power. Oh, my. Um, do I... Can I... Can I, like, run? Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, you can run across lava or fire or whatever with the water power, and that's what you need the water for. So I was right. I did need the water power later on in here. Um, how do I want to go about this here? Probably want to cool off some blocks. Probably, like, one at a time. Eh. Eh. Looks like... Careful. Careful. Uh, 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 there we go. <laughs> and grab it and go safely. Voila! That would be pretty hard to do <laughs> without the uh, um, water power up here. If not impossible, actually, because I'm not sure what happens to keys if they hit lava blocks. They might actually disintegrate, because that's what happens sometimes with uh, Kirby items, is that once they hit lava or water, oh! They uh, automatically destroy themselves. Whip guy. I'm not sure if I want whip guy. Oh boy! Oh, oh, oh. And that's why it's called dangerous dinner. <laughs> Gonna grab my power once again. Yeah, these are sort of lot like lava eels of sorts. Even though it's it's. Why, why did I stop shooting at the moment? I have no idea. <laughs> um, even though these lava eels. Uh, or look, they look kind of sinister, but at the same time, they still have an air of cuteness to them. <laughs> I guess that's the thing with Kirby, is that there's always a little bit of cuteness added to everything. And... look out! I guess they don't touch you when you're at the ceiling. I should say, um, touching the very top of the screen. It's hard to even call this a ceiling, because there's clearly no ceiling above me. <laughs> um, do I want to... No, I don't. <laughs> What's gonna happen once he release? Oh, okay. I was gonna say once he releases me, am I gonna get trapped in those blocks? That would really suck. Um, oh, there's a door. <laughs> it seems suspicious, actually. Um, oh, it's this one. What you want? What you have to do here is press the correct switch along the way to keep the path going and actually keep him alive for once, at least until you get over to the last one of what you want to kill him. Because you see, you want him to use those blocks to jump over gaps as well as make bridges for him. Now this one, this one is pretty annoying to time. Oh, I got it! <laughs> I'm surprised I got that on my first try. And get over there. Voila! One up! Energy sphere! And a cannon. This will show you the other switches that you haven't pressed already too, what they do. See that? That would kill your key holding buddy down there. So you gotta wisely press the switches as you go across there, or set them up ahead of time before you release them on that first switch. Uh, but I just like to go at it as... Ooh, go at it as I'm going, because it's just a lot faster than to, you know, double back. Snowball with lava bowling pins! <laughs> come on, you gotta admit this is pretty awesome, even if it is silly. <laughs> I mean, come on! And there's a metal uh, party ball as well. Woo! And you can even ride right across the lava as well. Break lava blocks, and also, you got these things right here. Be careful of when you shake this uh, Wii Remote so that you don't get squished instantly. Uh, expect to find another one of those secret doodad portal areas along the way that are coming up shortly. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, I, was, I wasn't uh, in, da any, in any danger there whatsoever. Woo! Uh, okay, just uh, 
reaping the rewards as I go, as you can see here, for the fun of it. Just because I like bowling. <laughs> I mean, come on, who doesn't like bowling when you can destroy lava rocks as well as lava bowling pins? That is my lifelong dream. Oh, no, 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 that's a bad place for the power to run out. I believe I'm going to have to... Oh, shoot. I believe I'm going to have to plug up a volcano with this, actually. Just like this. <laughs> Voila, yeah. That just shows the power of the snowball. You can use it to destroy entire volcanoes. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Another one of those beginner trap I mean, beginning traps. And I'm gonna try and drop these cannons right out before they cause me any trouble. Very nice. And it should give me a large enough star to chain react, destroy those. Oh, that's all. I only need to destroy one. Woo! I'm just gonna drop down here, no need to fear. Otherwise, that would actually took me more time to let myself, uh, like, ride down the ladder rather than just to drop down. Yeah, I had to aim right in the middle for that one, otherwise they probably wouldn't have all dropped off properly. Could be wrong, though. And he's gonna fall. Uh, I should probably plan accordingly. There we go. Always look ahead. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! I didn't spit it out fast enough. Alright, let's try it again. I got loads of lives since the last, I mean, since I first started this recording session. This game gives you lives like crazy. Alright, attempt number two. <laughs> Hopefully this will go a lot better than the first. I expect that it will. I was just a little bit sloppy at that area. I wasn't able to spit out my starry goodness quick enough, sadly. But alas, that's just how things go sometimes. That's all you have, 20 extra lives. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to see the game over screen once in this entire walkthrough. <laughs> I'd say it's a pretty good thing, <clears throat> though. Oh, no, 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 didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Ah, it still worked out anyway. And keep planning ahead. I wonder how I'm going to get this. I'm going to start sucking before I actually touch the block. That worked out a little bit better. And... Whoa! Uh, whoa, whoa! Oh! <laughs> I didn't know what the heck was going on there! That cannon actually... Um, yeah, it creates a little... Not shockwaves, um... The propulsion to push the block back down. Oh dear. <laughs> Can I like... No, no, no! Don't, don't risk it! Don't risk it! We're nearly there! Do not risk it! Oh, this is awesome! Watch this! <laughs> That is sweet! Also, it's pretty obvious, but don't suck right in the middle there, otherwise you'll fall right off the edge. Oh my god! Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> it almost blocked off the door there, but it was clearly designed to, um, you know, that you could push back the wall. Why would they give me the sleep power up? That is, that is not even a power. Just look at this. You can't do anything when you have the sleep power. You know what? I'm still kind of tired. I'd like to sleep some more. One more time. <laughs> okay, I'm wasting a lot of time just on the sleep here. Clearly, I want the whip over the sleep power because I can't even take the sleep power over to the boss. Well, it's pretty funny. They put those sleep at those sleeping enemies that give you the sleep power. Oh, another good uh, cannon placement right there. Anyway, they always seem to put those sleep power enemies in the worst of spots that they really, really get in your way. Uh, but I guess that's part of the point, you know, of good enemy placement. He's gonna try exploding me. An icy doom, but failed quite miserably. Tried charging, that did not work for him. We're gonna start teleporting soon, I think. Yeah. Not good enough, though, I'm afraid. And thus, stage 7 1 is complete. Whew. Uh, maybe it was a good idea that I put the boss in this part, because this is going to end up being about uh, 15 minutes in length, so I guess that was good timing. I should say that was a good idea to keep the boss in this part. Goal game. Ow! 
That was so close. He could have grabbed onto the cloud. Come on. His head was touching it. And his head is pretty much his entire body. <laughs> Did I unlock anything? No, I didn't. So, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part. Only 10 more energy spheres left. Wow. <laughs>